Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn about the step the report and we are going to learn how we can create that report by using a report wizard. If you all think about okay why Amir is only creating the report with wizard because if there is a tool available to us why we want to spend time and drag each of the field and take a take 20 minutes that can be done in two minutes so we are exploring different formats of the reports we are exploring different features of this tool and we are learning it once the report will be created we can always change the report so let me show you a stepped report here is the step report so this is how it will be looking like you have uh, the column names on the top and then you have some column value let's say in this case we are using region and the region is Asia and then we have customers from Pakistan and India under Asia and the next one is Europe and then we have customers for Europe and that includes Germany and France the last one is North America and we have customers for US now this uh, report this is called the step the report we want to create this uh, type of report for our users now let me go ahead and create this report for you before we create the report I'm going to show you the query I'm going to use it so this is the query we are going to use this has a sale person name last name first name product item sold date city state region and country so this is the column we will be using as a group and then the rest of the columns I will be using in the detail now let me go ahead and create that open the SSDT SQL Server data tools if you want to open the new one click on the new one and go ahead and do it I have already opened the SSDT and we are going to start from there click on the reports tab right click say add new report and the wizard is started so welcome fine click on next here we have two options if the data source is available right now we have a shared data source called DS sales so that's a shared data source it is giving us option you want to use it we can use it if we if this is pointing to the sales database in our case it is pointing to the sales database but if we want to point to another database we can go to new data source and create a new data source here we will provide the name let me provide actually and show you let's say we create sale that data source here and we go to edit and then we have to provide a SQL server instance name in this case I'm using SQL server so I will be providing SQL server maybe you will be using some different source so you have to work accordingly here sales database fine now make this shared data source if you want to make the newly created one as a shared data source we can go ahead and do it so I'm gonna do this one for you now we have two data sources actually DS sales and sales they are pointing to the same database doesn't make sense but it was just for the demo so I can show you how to create a new data source in the wizard and make it shared hit new now here in the query string I always recommend write your query in the SSMS and run it once you run it then copy that one and make as it is working so you know that it is working and that will save you a lot of time once you bring that query here just paste the query here and then hit next now here the report is going to be tabular as you can see that this is a table that has column and rows now we are going to explore one more option here that's a group now here if you see on the right side where I'm moving my mouse you can see that on the top this is called the page part and next is our this one is a group and this one is a detail so it is split into three portions now what we want to do we want to have a region in the group okay and then everything what we want we want in the detail okay fine go ahead next we are gonna hit the next and here we have different uh, type of layouts uh, for this table so now we have stepped here in the step you can see that okay columns are coming on the top these are black ones and then uh, you have uh, this uh, uh, column that we selected as a region then you have a detail so that's how it is going to look like now we are going to explore the black one in the next uh, demo so let's go with the step now select uh, any uh, type or style you like let's go with ocean this time now we are going to call this one uh, tabular and uh, I'm going to call this one group 
detail. I hit the preview report, finish. Now, this is exactly the report I was talking about. We have created this report uh, when I was showing you as a report too. Now, we have created this report by ourselves. This is pretty easy. Next part, we are going to fix these column widths. So, let's go to design. And then here, it ex works exactly like Excel. So, it doesn't really matter. You are going to move these one little bit, each of the column, and give some space. So, the columns will fit in. If uh, they don't fit in and you want to make some small changes like uh, change to the text uh, or uh, the size, the font size, everything, you have the options here. You can go ahead and use that one. In my case, I, I don't care about that. Uh, here, go to preview one more time. And uh, in the preview, we will be seeing that uh, columns come in correct now. So, date is uh, still uh, again uh, not in correct format. Uh, it has given us time, but uh, we don't have the time here. So, that's uh, one of the things I don't know why they are not fixing it. When you see the data type date uh, from the SQL Server, why not uh, just uh, let it be date? So, reporting services always put uh, this date time. So, we are going to fix that one. So, go to design, hit on the sold date right click go to text box properties go to the number and that's where we are going to format no no formatting is applied as of now we are going to go to date and then select the date we like so in uh, this case uh, go with the let's go this one today we have been using uh, united states uh, the last one so you can you can go ahead and with this one and now we preview the report it uh, looks good it is coming into correct format we can also align uh, these uh, text boxes wherever we want to put it in middle or uh, here you have options uh, let's say center if you want to move this one to center you can click the entire thing and make it center or left or aligned right so whatever works for you you can go ahead and here as well in the left so go to preview and uh, we can see that everything is the left now the report is uh, ready but let's deploy this report to the reporting uh, server and uh, that's how the user will be able to see to deploy this report to the report server what we have to do we have to go to the uh, project and right click here go to the properties and here we have to provide uh, the folder name where we want to deploy that report next we have to provide if we are deploying data sources we have to tell like which uh, the folder it should be deploying uh, if we are, are using some data sets uh, those shared data sets uh, we have to provide uh, the name of where we want to put them uh, and uh, finally we'll be providing the, the report server url so it is amir pc backslash report server uh, and uh, in my case it is underscore sql 2014 now once it's done uh, I can go ahead and uh, I'm okay with the sale detail folder so fine and uh, let's uh, hit okay we didn't make any changes so there wasn't anything to do, uh, apply now as we don't want to uh, deploy everything though I'm just interested to deploy uh, tabular group detail report so I'm gonna right click here and uh, deploy cannot deploy the report because the shared data uh, sales data reference does not exist on the report server so that's good thing to learn right because uh, this sales uh, data source is not uh, there so first of all it is uh, asking us uh, hey go ahead and deploy your shared data source so if I will go ahead and refresh this one this is the data sources and I don't have sales uh, data source here so it is complaining okay you need to deploy your data source first and then deploy your report so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the data source and say deploy now we see that uh, it is deployed to the data sources folder on the report server so let's go take a look here so we have sales fine even they both are pointing to the same server and same database it doesn't matter for us as of now with this point of learning how we can create a uh, shared data sources and deploy them and uh, next uh, what we need to do we need to deploy this uh, report so we deploy this report and uh, the report is deployed to the sale detail uh, folder and let's go and take a look I like the reports so when they come to the report server because that's where we can see them and uh, adjust the width of those columns and everything so sale detail and uh, here we call it tabular group detail and you can take a look on this one we have region and these are the column 
um, and here we have uh, all those uh, region and data is split uh, by the region so it is called the stepped report uh, and uh, that's how it is step right this is a region and this is all the, the under that one and the next one is uh, uh, Europe and uh, this is what you see so this is a very easy why uh, once again I want to tell you it is good idea explore all the option by using the report wizard because that's how you would know that even what are stepped report what are blocked report what are um, drill down reports uh, so if uh, you will just uh, try to create a empty report uh, or start from creating uh, your report from empty template uh, you, you have to spend a lot of time uh, understanding these the uh, formats so, so I will say go ahead and watch all the videos on the report wizard and then you would know that okay oh this is the format and this is how the report should look like and I have capability to create the report by using the wizard in these formats and once uh, the report is done let's say we go to design this report is done so the only part maybe you want to add this one maybe date time under this one or uh, some other uh, parameters even this uh, once you have this one you can add the parameters uh, so there is a lot more we can do and uh, creating report from wizard I always go with that I create with the wizard and then uh, I can uh, change that report uh, to the uh, or add those uh, different features to it uh, so it take me less time uh, creating that report from the wizard and then making changes uh. Uh, but we are going to learn all uh, as well how to create the report from the empty templates as well. Thanks very much for watching this video.